Hello guys, it is I, Cat Warrior. What's games here today, guys? And I bring to you some more tutorial videos. Sorry that I forgot to get out a video yesterday. I was working on one, but yeah. So you can look forward to some other one at some point, just so you know. Okay. Yeah. Let's just say that we were looking for Reed to see if we found it, though. But it was after the video. Also saw little green spots, but yeah, whatever. So, what's going to be happening today is we're going to show you how to make a merry-go-round, and that's you probably already know because you looked at the video's title. Unless you're one of those people who just click around, and you're that means that you're not even listening to this anymore. So, what you'll want to do is make a decently sized track. Sorry using rails okay so we're not going to make a silly looking one all right besides the part when the things get glitched out so you'll want to put down two rails like that one powered rail like that and then boom we're not going to power this rail yet though because yeah you'll see in a second and then you'll want to do the same thing with all of the other sides so just make sure you do that. So it should look something like this. And then you're going to fill this up with just oak planks. <laughs> then after that, you'll want to cover it with another layer of oak wood slabs. And also, you should not cover the tracks yet sorry I haven't done a little you know thing to show you guys yet but now hold on we'll want to make you know more of these going around I'm so sorry guys I know you're like wasted time <laughs> my time has been wasted no don't leave a video yet no not yet so then, what you'll want to do is get in your whichever rideable thing you want. So if you want a horse, you can do that. If you want a llama, you can do that. Or if you want the best one of all, you can do that. Alright, where's the lead? So then you'll get a lead. Also, this you can do in survival, but it's extremely hard because you can't just spawn them in and you have to... Get the flesh from the, you know, things. Alright. So, as you can see, this is a pretty big pain. So, just understand that before you begin. Please tell me that the llamas do better. Uh, why? So, yeah, as you can see, it's no fun. Come on. So you'll want to get them in the minecarts, as seen here, except not babies. So we'll have to let that one grow. Because I'm not going to let another thing die. Seriously, if I get a third one, I'm good. Be a nice one. Okay. So, next up, the reason why I didn't want to power the rails yet was because of the llamas. Alright, so, dig two blocks down at each power rail and then put a redstone torch under it. Alright, so your llamas will start speeding up. <laughs> but. That means that it's working. Then you have to try to get them all to go spinning in one direction. If you want to fix this problem though, just make it speed up even more. Don't care about how nauseous these llamas and potential riders are going to get, okay? It's all for the benefit of the Dow. 
See? Also, they will glitch out a bit, so you might want to make it bigger. So, after you finally get your extremely, extremely annoying llamas to... Can you please stay on the tracks? To behave, then you have to go through the pain of trying to place down all of these blocks. <laughs> So, just get out your oak wood slabs again, and then just try to place it down. Oh, again. I don't care about your, I, I, I'm not trying to feed you this. Understand llamas. Understand the llama. Understand llamas. Okay, thank you. Alright, so you might want to make the platform a bit bigger because usually the llamas do get free. Alright. And then place down some more slabs over here where the llama's track is. Just to make it so they you can see them. Also the also the reason why you are using slabs is because so we don't straight up slaughter these poor llamas by suffocating them. We've already had too much Donkos die today. All right, so we'll have more llamas on the llama go round eventually, but for now we'll have to do with make do with this. So make it very, very big platform, okay? If you know that they're not gonna spin off, or you just don't care. <laughs> so. I'm going to do this, and then surround it with oak wood slabs, so you can finally get around it. And then it looks something like this, but that just looks weird, right? Yeah. So then you'll want to place up another slab on each side, or if you're lazy, you can just place down an you can break it and then place down an oak plank. So then it should look something like this, and then after that, you get out some either oak or, 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 or spruce fences, but I'm going to use oak just for the purpose of this ride being made of oak. So that's one, two, three, four. So you'll want to make four of these pillars, each on this thing, one, two, three, four. So just make a pillar on each one, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. So as you can see there, boom, done. And then, next up, you'll want to place down whatever block, not this one, or this one, or this one, or this one, actually, maybe that one, or that one, or that one, actually, maybe that one as well, if you want to look ugly, but whatever, you probably didn't even hear me, luckily enough, so then you'll want to come up with some sort of cool design on the top, Using either terracotta, this disgusting concrete, you can use wool, or yeah, and you can, I was going to use the purple, but I just want to see how mushroom look would be for this place, okay, this will look good, and then you just go around like this. Here, this looks extremely, extremely weird having just two llamas going around in a circle with white. <laughs> Anyways, then you'll want to continue the pattern up a bit. I really hate, I really hope that those baby llamas will grow eventually. So, we're going to then go around like this, making sure that we can then finally complete the second layer and then after
after that, you're going to want to make a full big layer before continuing on. Just to make it a bit of a smaller bit on the inside so it doesn't look all gross and stuff. You have this, which looks kind of cool on the inside, but then the outside. No, we must continue. We must continue our evil deeds. You know, these are kind of looking like some sort of like either dominoes or like. What are they called again? Well, it's like things that you roll in. So then you do that, and then you just keep on going around, it'll become easier as you go. And then you can stop at some sort of point, cause like, I might stop on either this point or the next one. You can even stop at the very maximum point. So yeah, I'm going to stop at this one, right here, but you could even go up to here. Or you could be down to here. So, then, you're not done yet. You've got animals to tame. Great. I really wish you could feed these things notch apples. So this takes a while. Yay, all right. So then, after that, you've got to color your beautiful, beautiful new llamas, and this one I will make have the bandit thing, you are now my favorite llama, and then you hop onto the other llama, and then you have to get it to like you without getting onto the other llama that you, or llamas that you tamed. circling around randomly forever and yeah that's how you make the llama go around or whatever else you somehow seem to fi find works for fitting in this thing so yeah hope you like the video but before we go before we go ooh, ooh, I can show you my very own original merry-go-round okay so I'll see you once I get there okay so yeah let's go yeah why am I still here okay we're back and let's hope that this thing isn't completely destroyed like absolutely everything else in this world oh boy oh boy Yikes. Ugh. The horrible memories. <laughs> oh yeah, frog face. Um, so, we're going to just go along this road. Darn it, wrong road. We're going to go along this road and just try to see if we can ever find our way. Okay. So, over here is my very disgusting but working version. sure that there were more horses. I'm just saying, I think that there were supposed to be more horses. So I did it in the middle here, which is perfectly fine as well, but I'll just show you. Hold on. Eh, horsey, let me on it. So as you can see, we've got the horse, but then the problem is 
Yay, I'm stuck in here for eternity. So I hope you like the video, guys, and see you guys next time. Woo! And now I'm gonna have to find a way out of this cage.